All right, stop snoozing, people. Get up, work out in the morning, because that's what may help you lose more weight. Researchers in a new study looked at young men and women doing the same workouts five days a week, and this is what they discovered. If you went to the gym before noon, you shed more pounds than if you came to work out, say, after 3 p.m. Well, we had to call Mr. Mark McDonald to discuss this, nutritionist, trainer. He is the great guru, friend. know it all, great <laughs> friend. Yes, absolutely, Mark. Um, what, what do you think of the study? I, I love the study, actually. It's actually correct. It's accurate. Yeah, so when you work out first thing in the morning, think of a phone. You charge your phone, you have a full battery, yeah. you have a much more energy for the output. Plus, you don't have to think about it the rest of the day. So you kind of have that stress off. Well, that's true. And you burn more calories. So there's truth to the study completely. So let me ask you this. Do you eat before or after? So a lot of people say you'll burn more fat if you don't eat before, but you should eat before because you need, you need fuel. Because we talk about school, like kids, they study better on a full stomach. So you just want to eat a balanced meal, some protein, some fat, some carbs, maybe a protein shake or a quick breakfast, okay. just to fuel your body and ignite your metabolism the rest of the day. That's what I was wondering, is yeah. what is acceptable to eat in the morning then? So give me a couple of quick moves, two, maybe two moves, you know, that will... Two moves that are going to get your body going. So, so one, one going quick thing, if you can't work out in the morning, yeah. like my wife Abby's not a morning person. So if that's you, don't yeah. worry about it, okay? You can still work out, just it's the consistency. Do it at nighttime then. So don't okay. think, oh, I, I'm just not going to work out. Just set it up, and as long as you can do it every night, you may not get the same output, but you're going to be great doing that. So just well, be great at what you can. everybody's different, right? Yeah. So, I mean, sometimes it works better for me if I go at night. Yeah, physiologically, it seems better in the morning, but if you can't do it every morning, do it every At least night. Do it. Be great. That's the thing. We talk about 1%. It's 1% progress. So the studies are amazing. There's truth to everything. But if you fuel your body properly, you stay active consistently, you're going to win. And you do it for yourself and for your family. And then all of that's great. So you have to take every study with a grain of salt, look at the positive, and adjust it. Now, two okay. quick exercises. Yes. Okay, so wherever you are, so we're going to squat and plank. I'm so here squat we go. Are heels, we ready? Baby. So look, squatting, what we're going to okay. do, go shoulder width length. Okay. okay. Like you're sitting in a chair. So ready? We sit down. Okay. Okay. Weight on the heel. Okay. Keep your butt tight. This is going to be a great full body. You can do this at work. You can oh, hold yeah. it for a minute or you can come up, come okay. down, come up, come down. Okay. Now this works about 70% of your lean body mass. Shift okay. more to the heel. I know you got heels on. I, I know I got heels on. Just like you're sitting in the chair, you want to arch your back. <laughs> now let's work the other part. Let's talk about a plank. We all okay. want strong abs. Now mm -hmm. Christy, she's a rock right here. I love that. <laughs> I do so do planks, I will say. I, I, know. Do, so, I do a plank in the morning. So you can do, I love that. So you can do like a knee in plank. In my closet, mind you. I, I, do, I do a one minute plank Christy, in the closet every Christy morning. Christy makes it happen no matter what. So get both arms here, <laughs> so like pretty. a push up, and then you can lift a leg if you want. Lift your left okay. leg. Oh, I lifted my right, sorry. Okay, now let's lift the other leg. Okay. You can lift an arm. If you get I, tired, I, you know what all I, you do is drop to your knees. What do you do? I lift a leg and an arm. I love that. So she's going to advance. Although Hold it's that. Kind of hard Hold to on. Do it Go in back my there. Heels. Hold that. See, and now ah. you're going to. I got you. Straighten your core right here. This is going to work why everything. I don't know why I can't do it today. So if you can do a 60 second squat three times a day, a one minute plank three times a day, you can do a plank challenge where you can simply focus on looking at how can you do planks longer. So you go yeah. two minutes. Next what day about you the do knees? two minutes. I do this too. I love it. Because so you, that, you really you really feel it in your lower back if you do this, or if you do it both at the same time. Yeah, so I have a challenge for you for your, for oh, your closet. Oh, do it, yes. Okay, so every day, I want you to start with two minutes, and then every day for the next 30 days, I want you to add 10 seconds. Okay. Okay, so two, two minutes, then 210, then 220, now, 230. Now, what is the difference between this and this? So this is a little bit easier on your body. It is, okay. So if you go on your knees as well. So if you have a bad back, if your core is not as strong, once again, it's 1%. Start where you can. Start on your knees, start on your elbows, slowly elevate it. Even Every if day you're you get stronger. Even you start in your closet. <laughs> start in your closet, that's what you have to do. It's 365 days. Imagine 1% progress every single day with your health, what you can yes. achieve. Okay? Thank you, Mark. Come on, Christy. Love this man. He'll get you going. <laughs> Love you back. Mark McDonald, thank, thank you. Thank you so much. So, listen, if you want more um, great information about this, great health info, check out his book, Body Confidence. <laughs> I got it at home. Mark McDonald. Woo! We'll be right back. Thanks, Christy.